hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a wedding notepad using photoshop before any further ado let's get started so i'm going to use a4 paper size select the a4 then change it to inches then make sure is you are using a landscape then i'm going to type the name here wedding all right so you great now the first thing is to do i'm going to view select your guideline then enter five percent so this is vertical so you can see the line over there now i'm going to bring this one to the center at 50 percent then you can also right click at the ruler then you select percent then by selecting this percent this will also enable you to drag it manually according to percentage then here i'm going to apply 95 percent so i'm using manual so this is another way to apply manual guideline so here i'm going to also enter 45 percent 55 percent then select the horizontal five percent okay that is 95 percent then change it back to yeah i'm going to enter zero percent that is for the horizontal at the top then and this one hundred percent at the bottom so here now i'm going to change it to vertical at zero percent then here at hundred percent vertical so you can see all the guideline now Now draw a rectangle over here using the guideline. Import this image for my background. Then you scale it out. All right. Now go to your filter blow and Gaussian blow enter 7.7 .7. then you click OK so I'm going to apply this color here Then change it to screen. Create a clipping mask. Then import this image. And position it. Draw a rectangle over here. Then come over here to copy this color code. Then paste it. Then I'll scale it up. Apply your layer mask. Then blend the top here. Okay. 
I'm still going to scale it up high. So here are the fonts I'm going to use. Avenia, Nest Pro, and Freehand. To paste the text you copy. Here I'm going to change the font to Avenia. Select the bold one. Then copy the color from here. Okay. And position it well. I'm following the guideline. Now reduce the font size. Duplicate the test. Then centralize the test vertical. Then copy your test again, Ctrl C. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then increase the font size. Follow your guideline. Now draw a cycle. Then come here to copy this color code over here. Ctrl C to copy. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then you click OK. Now position it between the center here. Over here is OK. Reduce it. Then you come over here to copy again. Select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to white. Then reduce the font size. Position it over here. Then hold your shift key to select the cycle and the test. Apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Then I'm going to import this image here. Then I'll position it over here. All right. Now select it, then you group it together, then you scale it out, it's okay. So the next thing, import this ornament, then you reduce the size. Drag it down. It's okay like this. Then select your market tool. Drag from here to the end here. Then apply vertical alignment. Then Ctrl D to deselect. Now I'm going to copy this test here, Ctrl plus C. Select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then copy the color code. Select the color, Ctrl V to paste. Now increase the 
font size then position it at the center of the cycle here all right then copy this one again ctrl plus c to copy then duplicate this one ctrl plus j select it and paste bring your text to the center now reduce the font size then apply character spacing I'm going to input 120 now select your marquee tool again drag it from this area to the end here then apply vertical alignment Ctrl D to deselect use your arrow key to bring it down a little then copy this color code select the color Ctrl plus V to paste now duplicate this one again Ctrl J Then copy this text here. Select this one and Ctrl V to paste. Then make it regular. Apply character spacing. I'm going to input 800. Enter. Then copy this color code. Then I'm paste it here. Just a little bit difference. Now decrease the font size. Now select the two test here. Apply vertical alignment. Now import this ornament over here. Then position it over here. All right. Now I'm going to copy the cutter C here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go back again to copy this color code. Then select your color. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now close the character spacing by zero. Then you enter. Reduce the font size. Then reduce it a little bit. All right. Then bring this light here. Position it around here. Then change the blending mode to soft light. Now arrange them and group them. So group it together and this is the front cover.
Now we are going to back cover, draw a rectangle over here, follow the guideline. Then I'm going to enter this code here manually. Okay. Then import this image. Position it over here. Then you scale it. Position it properly as you want it. Then I'm going to apply luminosity. So you see the outcome. Then create a clipping mask. I'm going to draw another rectangle. Then copy this color code and apply to it. Ctrl V to paste the code. So this is what you, you have. Then reduce the opacity to 80%. So this is what you have. Then import this design. Arrange it properly. Then import this ring again. Reduce the size. Alright, I'm going to draw another rectangle. Over here. Then I will use this background column. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. Then you blend the top here. Then come over here to copy this text, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your text tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then copy this color code, Ctrl C to copy. Then Ctrl V to paste. I'm going to change the font to freehand. Then you select this one. Apply this market tool, then you enable vertical alignment, Ctrl D to deselect. Then import this barcode. Reduce the size, position it over here, use your arrow key to move it up, reduce it a bit, it's okay. Then change the font again to Avenir. Then 
Then I will reduce the size and I will position it over here. Something like this. So that is all in this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.